let's discuss about Nikola Tesla. Tesla was born on 10th of July 1856 in a small town called Smijan in Austria-Hungarian the province of modern-day Republic of Croatia. His father was a priest and his mother an illiterate housewife but a very talented woman. Tesla always gave credit to his mother for being a source of his inventiveness. Tesla had one elder brother and three sisters. According to Tesla's biography, the elder brother was brilliant and died at the age of 12. Tesla went to school in Karlovac, Croatia and then studied electrical engineering at the Austrian Polytechnic in Graz. Tesla was later persuaded by his father to attain the University of Prague. In 1881, he moved to Budapest, Hungary to work for a telegraph company, the American Telephone Company. On the opening in 1881 of the Telephone Exchange, Tesla became the chief electrician to the company. There also developed a device that according to few people was a telephone but according to others could have been the first loudspeaker but again that's that is a mystery in 1882 he moved to paris france to work as an engineer for the continental edison company one of the administrators of cec was charles bachelor who was a former assistant and a close friend of thomas alva edison he saw the genius of Nikola Tesla and urged him to go to the United States. In 1884, when Tesla arrived in the United States, he had little besides a letter of recommendation from Charles Batchelor to Thomas Alva Edison. In that particular letter, Batchelor wrote the golden lines, I know two great men and you are one of them and the other is this young man. Then Thomas Edison hired Tesla to work for his company that was named as Edison Machine Works. Tesla's work began with simple electrical engineering and quickly progressed to solving the company's most difficult problems. He was offered the task of a complete redesign of the Edison company's direct current generators. Tesla wrote in his letters in 1919 that Thomas Edison offered him the then staggering sum of $50,000 if he completed the motor and generator improvements. He worked nearly a year to redesign them and gave the Edison company several enormously profitable new patents in this process. When Tesla inquired about the $50,000, Edison reportedly asked, Tesla, you don't understand the American humor and reneged on his promise. Tesla resigned when he was refused to raise $1.25 per week. This was in the spring of 1885. In that response, in 1886, Tesla formed his own company that was Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing. The initial financial investors completely disagreed with Tesla on this plan for an alternating current motor. Eventually, he was relieved of his duties at the company and in that circumstances without any source of income and a penny in his pocket Tesla worked in New York as common labor from 1886 to 1887 to feed himself and to raise few amount of pennies for his next project Tesla later remarked that this was the worst time of his life during this time by good fortune, he came in contact with a patent attorney who helped Tesla to start work on his alternating current motor and financed in setting up his laboratory. In 1887, he constructed the initial brushless alternating current induction motor, which he demonstrated to the American Institute of Electrical Engineers. The address at American Institute of Electrical Engineers brought Tesla in contact with George Westinghouse, an American entrepreneur. Westinghouse listened to his fascinating ideas for polyphase power system, which would allow transmission of alternating current over larger distances, and bought all of his alternating current 
patents for a million dollars and agreed to pay the royalty of one dollar per horsepower produced. In the same year, Tesla developed the principles of Tesla coil. He worked there for a year but didn't get the suitable and favorable results. Then he quit the job to get back to his laboratory in New York. In April of 1887, Tesla began investigating what would later be called as X-rays using his own single node vacuum tube. The most important and fascinating thing that was much before Röntgen's discovery. The modern term for phenomenon produced by this device is breaking radiation. Now, we know that this device worked by emission of electrons from single electrode through a combination of field and thermionic emissions. On July 30th, 1891, he became a naturalized citizen of the United States at the age of 35. He lit vacuum tubes wirelessly at both ends of New York locations of his both houses, providing that the evidence for potential of wireless power transmission when Tesla was 36 years old, the first patent concerning the polyphase system were granted. It was a huge milestone in his professional career. 